Now to follow along with this program, what we have is, is a uh, student workbook. The student workbook book, uh, is updated to the ASME Y145 2009 standard. There's many exercises that you can follow along with us, pages in the book that you can follow along. It, uh, the book is all in color. It'll match the color that we have on our slides. So with that, what I'd like to do is get started and show you some of the updates. All right, this here is a list of uh, geometric tolerancing video series, and you'll notice that what we have is a total of 17 units. This is the complete video package, so if you had someone that was new, not familiar with geometric tolerancing, what they would do is, is they would watch all of the videos, with the exception of the video update unit that we're in now. Now, if you had some people that were just a basic starter set, that means that those are people that are just beginning to be familiar, maybe some people that don't need the whole program. I would recommend that they go through the first six units, and then possibly that would be your call. Maybe they would go through unit 10 and unit 11 on the orientation tolerances. Maybe even profile or position, I'll leave that to your call. But at a minimum, they would go through the first six units. Next, what I would do is, is for your experts, that would be somebody like yourself that is going through the update introduction. You would watch the tape we're in now. And then uh, this here is people that just want to be updated 2009. What you're going to view is, is unit 6, unit 7, unit 8, and unit 9. Now the workbook that we have that goes along with the program, that could be used for everyone. All of the uh, units would you have the workbook to use it as reference. And the page numbers in yellow down on the bottom match the pages in the workbook. In the rear of the book, it has information on all the revisions. So if everybody's in watch it, at least they'll have all that information. This is some uh, pocket guides that you might want to use. It uh, contains the necessary reference information on the topics that we're going to be covering. Now, a little bit of history on the standard. Here's our list of standards that we have. They started off in the 50s, and you can see they went through a number of name changes on dimensioning and tolerancing until currently down at the bottom there that we have the ASME Y145-2009. And this, as you can see, just like the way your business, what it is is it's a continuous improvement process. We've always been improving and uh, clarifying uh, the dimensioning and tolerancing principles. 